Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, November 10th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment of Good Sports is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high-pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies, and they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 off any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we're doing our show today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas, and you can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can visit, also visit their website, shawneepizza.com, and watch for their new location at K10 in Woodland, which is opening in early January. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510, Saturdays at 8 o'clock in the morning, and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 30 p.m. and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now out and available at over 500 locations. And our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month with our current issue of KC Sports, we continue to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. And this month we explain our reasons why fan respect had turned into, has turned turned into revolt. Now we also talk with linebacker Justin Houston. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey. We give you an update on the construction of the brand new outdoor NHL-sized ice rink, which is scheduled to open at the KC Ice Center on November 17th. And we plan on being out there at the taping. Uh, we'll be out there next week uh, taping our show at their grand opening. And in KC, we have a story on KC's 2012 go Olympic gold medal winner, Shannon Vreeland. Plus, we show you how KC is a hot spot for college recruiting for soccer players for women's teams. Now, you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King's at both Minsky's on Berry Road. Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center, the Fieldhouse of KC, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area, and also right here at Old Shawnee Pizza. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, and that's all one word. Or you can follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, as I mentioned, we are out here at Old Shawnee Pizza, 61st and Neiman. And our first guest that's joining us uh, is a Kansas City Comets legend. He's now the goalie coach for the Missouri Comets. His name is Alan Mayer. Welcome to the show, Alan. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Steve. It's indeed a pleasure to be here with you. Now, uh, let's start with the exciting news. Uh, your number is being retired uh, by the Comets 
early next year, February 22nd, I want to know, have you started your speech yet? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. And, uh, the speech will be about a minute or two, so uh, <laughs> I think we'll have plenty of time to work on it. So when did they tell you, first of all, con- congratulations, yeah, obviously. You. When did they tell you about this? Um, you know, they decided that as something going into this season? Yeah, it's uh, actually it was pretty exciting. I got a call from uh, 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 the Comets about a month ago, and they asked if uh, – if I would be interested in, in having it, it done, I was like, whoa, what, uh, what do you mean interested in? It, it was a, a great honor and uh, to, for them to think about it and, and honor me with that. Uh, um, I you know, said yes before even asked of me. Of course. <laughs> now, you were number zero with the Comets. How many years did you play with the Comets? I was with the Comets for five years. Okay. Uh, five uh, super years. We uh, are married and have three kids, and we absolutely loved it here. As a matter of fact, we liked it so much that we decided to stay here and make it our home for for good now so i have to ask you you were number one i saw some pictures on the internet you were number one for some other teams that you played for and we'll talk about that in a second but when you came to the comments you wore number zero was it a psychological thing or did they assign did they just say here you go you're wearing number zero you're the goalie (laughs) you know because if you're wearing number one you know that's okay you allow one goal that's all right but (laughs) well (laughs) was it was it a thing to say okay i'm wearing the zero here i've got to do my job a a little bit to, to the higher level yeah, generally, generally uh, goalkeepers have number one. They wear number right. one. I've worn number one, 16, 11, and zero in different occasions sure. with playing for different teams and a national team. Uh, and the one here in Kansas City uh, it was just basically, hey, uh, we're going indoor soccer, and hey, what, what you know, be pretty nice to get a shutout in indoor. <laughs> so, so let's try our luck and see if we can get uh, zero and, and see what happens from there. I think your odds of getting a shutout in yeah. the outdoor game are greater yeah. than in the indoor oh, game. Just by, by just, and we'll t- we'll talk about that as well. But right. let's start with with your history. Yeah. You're actually from uh, New York State. Uh, mm-hmm. The city that you're from is how do you pronounce it? I S L I P Islip. 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 Yes, uh-huh. and uh, we're it's actually just out on, on Long Island. Oh, okay. Uh, it, okay. It's been probably uh, it's been in the news quite a bit here recently yeah. with uh, mm-hmm. Hurricane Sandy, and uh, we actually lived right in the uh, in in a main deal there where uh, we had a house on Fire Island that uh, you know Long Island's right off uh, New York City about uh, about an hour out and uh, uh, that there was considerable damage there and then a little uh, there's a little island right off Long Island and that's called Fire Island and uh, we we have a house there and. Uh, it uh you know it's it's got it's waterlogged right now so oh, really uh, yeah it's been uh uh we were we're kind of lucky compared to a lot of other folks so uh uh but that, boy when you deal with uh mother nature she has the upper hand on right. on, on us all have so, you been back at all or or uh, just hearing from other people just hearing from other people as a matter of fact they haven't been really been able to get out on the island to, right. to visit it the, right. the, the the home the people that live there uh, we just hear reports and you know people uh, uh, posting on the uh, internet and things like that. Well, you work in the insurance industry, so yeah, I'm sure right. you have a few connections yes, uh, to get that taken right. care of. I mean, it's a sad, it's it's yep. a, it's not a good thing, right. but you know at least you have the connections there right. for that. Um, now you went to James Madison University in Virginia, uh, where you played for four years. What was your degree right. in? And and wow. uh, you did pretty well. So well, you've actually yeah. done your homework here. I'm, I'm <laughs> impressed. Yeah, I, I went uh, in James Madison, and uh, it was at, at that time it was called uh, Madison College. Oh, okay. Uh, when we uh, graduated, uh, it became a university, James Madison University. Uh, loved it there. Uh, played four years of uh, soccer there uh, along with tennis. And, wow. Uh, uh, and it was a, a wonderful time. Got a degree in sociology. Mm-hmm. Wasn't sure what I was going to use it with, <laughs> on. Or, uh, we just, well, I just wanted a piece of paper that said, uh, you graduated. So uh, we to psych uh, out the other team. Right there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so uh, it, it worked out really nice. And uh, right from college, I was drafted in, in the professional ranks and went around for uh, 18 years. And um, finally, ended up here in Kansas That's City. Incredible. That's incredible. I loved it. Incredible. So, have you always been a goalie, or and what drew you to goaltending? Um, you know, when you were a, a, right. a, wee, a wee lad, yeah. a wee lad, a wee lad of 15. Oh, really? So I that's when you soccer. started. Yes. Oh, and, oh really? Uh, yes. Wow. It was. Uh, it started later in in life. Wow. Uh, well, then I understand why you became the goalie. Right. It was easier. <laughs> yeah. It was easier. It was e- easier because I played a lot of basketball. Uh, 
but it's also we didn't have to do all the running that uh, the, the, the the soccer players do and the footwork that, say, that they started at three exactly you, you, yeah you, yep. they, you had yeah you just had to be quick and and uh, you know decisive on what you were going to do right and, and read a play for sure yeah, yeah. but you were uh, you know amazingly an MVP for all four years in college uh, you had all sorts of mm-hmm. shutout records do those mm-hmm. still stand uh, at the college a lot of them do stand wow a lot of them do stand and. Uh, but you know, a, a goalkeeper can only do so much, you know, and 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 it's it's it you know it's it's for real that you have to have a, a good team around. You have to have some special players in front of you to 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 take the load when you mess up because you know goalkeepers do mess up, and you know the the field players can come in there and help you out a lot. So I was fortunate to college have a good team a good team to play with and also throughout the my professional career for sure well we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about your your pro career here you're the goalie coach mm-hmm. for the comets uh, right now what does the goalie coach do you'd mentioned to me when we were before we we started recording here that you're spending a lot of time especially at the beginning of the season with the team what is your role uh there with the comets to assist the goalies well the biggest role is to you know get them ready to play uh games mm-hmm. and uh you know, when I was approached by Kim uh, Runvin, the coach, who's a great friend of mine and uh, t- for- former teammate and, and also uh, an ally and also a, an enemy <laughs> uh, when he played for Wichita a lot. And I just love the guy. And, uh, he, he, uh, and when he asked me, I said, you know, absolutely sure, you know, positive. I don't know how much time I could give it. But uh, for sure during the preseason is uh, the training in the preseason is the most important part. Uh, to get them ready physically to play and also at this level not only is it physically but you know mentally as as well and just to maybe teach them a few tricks that I I learned when I was playing Uh, but the the guys I work with are when I say fantastic they're fantastic both Danny uh, Waltman and Boris Bandel uh, Bandel are, are, are great people they're very very good goalkeepers but they're super people willing to learn uh, and we share ideas. This isn't, you mm-hmm. know, Alan telling you, you guys what to do. Mm-hmm. I ask them a lot of questions on how they do it. You know, Boris is a coach, and Danny's been playing for for a long time. So uh, we we share we share uh, share the uh, input and an output and uh, it's 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 been a, a wonderful situation so far i was a, a recreational hockey goalie for many years until the back went out and the eyes went out and all that all that kind of stuff uh and everybody has their own individual style and you know limitations and things like that now these guys are pro athletes and i'm sure your style and danny's style are a little bit different right. But yet you're there to help him expand what it is that he's doing with his style. I mean, you know, do you see that in, in what it is he does and, and how you might right. think to play the game? Oh, no no question about it. It's it's all about Danny's style. Yeah. It has nothing to yeah. do with Alan's style or yeah. Alan playing or anything like that. It's all about Danny's style and Boris's style. How uh, And you adjust to the, their style of play and what they, you know, because they're professionals now and they've, you know, they're – it's it's tough to get in the pro ranks, and for them to get this far, they've got to been doing some good things. To, uh, and so I don't tinker uh, w- with their style. Uh, matter of fact, I try to learn from it. Sure. And uh, also, uh, you know, there's a uh, uh, we can help out on the physical as- aspect on it, on the training method, getting ready. You know, uh, getting the legs ready, getting the uh, you know uh, reflexes, etc. And then uh, allowing a little bit of the mental aspect. But they they they're doing most of it, and uh, it's just a, 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 a privilege, actually, to be working with them. Right. And, you, and the team had a very good start their mm-hmm. first weekend. They, they had a dramatic comeback, uh, like a 15-point or something like that comeback yeah. to win, and they won both of their games. Yeah. And then now they're up in Milwaukee right, uh, right now while we're, we're taping exactly. the show, and they mm-hmm. play on Sunday. We're taping on a Saturday. They play on a Sunday, uh, and I guess that's going to be on TV. But let's explain a little bit of the differences. You play the outdoor game. You play the indoor game. Right. Uh, outdoor game is spread out. Right. Indoor game is v- very confined. It's, it's you know, I, I look at it and say it's, you know, they're playing soccer on a hockey rink and they're using the boards and, and the goals. What's the difference in the goal size between the outdoor and the indoor? Well, the, well the, uh, probably uh, make it real simple. Uh, the indoor goal is probably uh, a little little more than half the size. Okay. Uh, size. So it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's a lot less. It's, it's, uh, like, it's still like eight feet tall. It's, a, it's eight, eight, it's, it's eight feet tall. Or right. Like that. And yeah. uh, we're. It, uh, and you said it. You hit it dead on. On the, if I was to uh, say the difference between the two, I talk about the outdoor being, you know, 
a little bit bigger than a football field, mm -hmm. uh, uh, dimension-wise, and the indoor being just what you said, hockey. As a matter of fact, a lot of the places that we had played on uh, are hockey arenas, right. uh, and they just put a carpet right on, you know, they'll put a, a board on, like, uh, at the uh, arena they're playing in right now, the they, we have the, the, center, the yeah. Mavericks play there, and then they, they come in and they put a uh, board and then carpet up right on top of that. So it's the same dimensions in that respect. And uh, it's like pinball. Indoors, yeah. like pinball. Yeah. Uh, pinball, and and uh, and it's just a, a lot of scoring, which the American public really likes compared to the outdoor, which is, you know, not as not – as, uh, not as much scoring as zero as to zero tie, yeah, yeah or yeah. one to one tie, yeah. yeah. That's 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 tough. Ninety minutes yeah. and one to one tie. It, it is, it is. But uh, uh, the more you learn about the game in which Kansas yeah. people are with sport yeah. Yeah. with uh, sporting KC that for this, sure. this year in particular, they've they've really uh, the education level on the fan is is huge now. Oh, I agree. So they're appreciating the zero zero, the one ones, the mm -hmm. two one game. Mm -hmm. Where years ago when I was playing, they did not appreciate those. Yeah, <laughs> but now they are. Yeah, now they are. <laughs> Well, yeah, so, uh, and you can see the team playing now. They play at the Independence Event Center, um, and uh, I think the next home game is uh, November 16th and 17th. They play Syracuse, uh, the Syracuse Silver Knights mm -hmm. on the 16th at 735, and then they play the Baltimore Blast at 735. I want to give out the information on how you can get tickets. It's MissouriComets.com, and it's 855 Casey Arena is the phone number where you can do that. Now, let's... Let's talk a little bit more about your history in playing. One of the things that I find interesting is, is you were, uh, you know, pretty uh, rebellious in a sense, I guess, in in that you wore a helmet yeah. as a goalie. You wore a padded mm -hmm. helmet, which right. is was extremely rare at that time. I guess mm -hmm. it's still pretty rare, although yeah. I know they're trying to bring that into youth soccer right now uh helmets for concussions mm -hmm. what what made you make that decision to wear that was it a doctor saying look you you know you better take care of right. yourself or was it your own personal decision well i i guess actually for uh i the reason why uh and it was a conscious effort at the time is so that when i get this age when i'm 60 years old mm -hmm. i'm still able to talk to you mm -hmm. and to talk to my wife and the kids and other folks and and have an intelligent conversation uh, so I had, uh, I, uh, throughout my life, I had, uh, 12, 13 concussions. Oh my. And this is when, and probably, my guess is probably more than that because we probably, because I can remember playing a lot of times when it was blurry and, and et cetera, et cetera. Concussions were not known as they are now. Right. Uh, and my, the reason why I basically wore it was, uh, w in one game we played against, uh, an outdoor game in New England and. Uh, I came out on a one-on-one -on -one situation and met uh, the forwards cleat on a wet day, and he just uh, the four studs went in my head and, and ripped up and ended up with 65 stitches on the top oh of my, my head. And I'm, as I'm sitting in my in the operating room looking up up on a on a, a table uh, on the ceiling, uh, I said, "Hey, I need to do something to mm -hmm. protect myself." And uh, the next day after I got out of the hospital, I went uh, went out and with a doctor uh, when I was playing with San Diego at the time and. We went out and we just looked all around and, and found a, you know, a, a helmet that would be acceptable by the league. Right. Uh, we needed a, you know, it's just foam rubber. It's just, right. It's basically, a, it's basically a knee pad on your head. <laughs> and uh, believe me, I took a lot of stick. I took a lot of kidding, a lot of ribbing from not only, you know, f you know, few teammates, but the opposing uh, players and fans. But stuck with it, and I'm glad I did because, uh, you know, we had – my game was totally based on aggression, so uh, hmm. uh, I, I, you know, I, uh, I'm glad that I did it because, uh, as I say, we're we're able to talk today. Yeah, and yeah. and 18 years later, your right. number is being retired. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, and and you do work, as I mentioned, you work in the insurance industry right. now. You know, fill us in briefly on that. Uh, yep, I've been in the uh, since I retired in, uh, from soccer uh, 23 years ago. Uh, uh, we went right into the insurance business and uh, employee benefits, and we've been in there for the uh, last 23 years, and has been has been wonderful. But I'm at a stage of my career now where maybe we can, you know, give a little bit back more to soccer, and sure. we're, we're doing it now here with the Comets. Now, you, uh, one more question: You mm -hmm. had pretty long hair when you when you played <laughs> soccer. I saw the pictures, and it was it was down here. Uh, yeah. Uh, what what happened? You went into the corporate world, and they uh, said, "Sorry, buddy." <laughs> but sorry, yeah, you got to you, <laughs> you hit it under the helmet. That's I guess right. so, uh, that's, that you got to cut it off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they they were. It was a different time, seventies and eighties. Yeah, different than the two uh, thousands. So for sure. Uh, 
So it was a, it was almost stylish now, and now it's like whoa. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, it's, it's it's worked out pretty well. Again, you can you can see the Missouri Comets uh, playing at the Independence Events Center. Uh, their next game is the November sixteenth and seventeenth against the sixteenth against the Syracuse Silver Knights and the Baltimore Blast on the seventeenth. Uh, you can get tickets at missourycomets.com com or 855 KC Arena Alan I want to thank you very much oh. for joining us we're already out of time I told you I, I told you thank 19 you. minutes go really yes. fast I got all these questions right. and we're going to just have to have you back so that I can well, you, I can ask you all ask these, great questions I so can thank ask you so all much. these questions <laughs> uh, we are going to take a quick break you're watching or listening to Good Sports KC Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine show we're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza located at 61st and Neiman a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine featuring the Siege Sports High School Report, the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the Great Life Golf Report, and the Bud Light Chiefs Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month, save 20% on Joint Replete, joint and soft tissue supplement with your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you are playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. Get 10% off UPS shipping at the two South KC UPS stores with your coupon at KC Sports and Fitness. Bring your next shipment to 103rd between Warnell and State Line or 121st and State Line in Leewood and save 10% on UPS shipping with your coupon in KC Sports. Save $8 on your purchase of 25 or more at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from KC Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse from Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're looking to upgrade or downsize your home, contact Katie Forrest at Reese & Nichols. She's been representing sellers and buyers in Kansas and Missouri since 1996. 
and can get your goals met. Call Katie at 913-226-5947. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. Welcome to the CollegiateCamo.com Halftime Report here on Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. The show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 on any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Uh, visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 34th and Gibbs in in Kansas City, Kansas. Now you can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com, and watch for their new location at K10 and Woodland opening in early January. Now this segment of the CollegiateCamo.com Halftime Report is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses that you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. This segment's also brought to you by CollegiateCamo.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and the loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other Camouflage College logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. You can visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find a product from your school that you can proudly display. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we interview Jayhawk safety uh, Bradley McDougald, Wildcat uh, linebacker Trey Walker, who played at Olathe North, and Tiger defensive back EJ Gaines, who played for Fort Osage. And in KC, we feature a story on the benefits of exercising in the morning, plus we introduce you to to Denise Lewis, who is a local runner who proves that you can take on new athletic endeavors after you hit 40. Now you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizza on Southside at 127th and Metcalf. You'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can view our show, this current show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is go to youtube.com and search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to KC Sports and Fitness, and they include CollegiateCamo.com, the sponsor of this segment of Good Sports, Katie Forrest Reese and Nichols Real Estate Office. If you're looking to upgrade or downsize your home, contact Katie Forrest. She's been representing buyers and sellers in Kansas and Missouri since 1996, and she can get your goals met. You can call her at 913-226-5947. Plus, Digicom Satellite, where you can take your favorite games to go with Dish Network's remote access. Sling Adapter, and Tailgater. Digicom Satellite and Dish connect you to your favorite sports events on the go. You can call Digicom Satellite at 877-439-4643 or visit digicomsatellite.getdish.com. And Digicom is spelled D-I-G-I-C-O-M. Digicomsatellite.getdish.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Katie Forrest, Reese, and Nichols Real Estate Office, HitMix USA, USA Mobile DJ, Entertainment, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Polofsky & Associates, The Heart of America Havoc Professional Volleyball Team, uh, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, The Missouri Comets, 
Gardens of Delight Yoga, Heritage College, The Field House, The Surplus Exchange, and Wells Fargo Financial Advisor, Melanie Apodaca. Well, that'll do it for our Collegiate Camo Halftime Report. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine Show. We're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for their Shawnee location and 913-677-1844 for their KCK location. And watch for their new location at K10 in Woodland, opening soon. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. The Dish Hopper Whole Home HD DVR has everyone talking. You can even skip commercials automatically when you play back recorded primetime content. Ask how to get the hopper for free. Visit Digicom Satellite, your dish authorized retailer, or call 877-439-4643. That's 877-439-4643. Auto Hop only available for playback of select HD primetime shows. Must be enabled by customer. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. It's Cigar and Tabac's 30-year anniversary, and you can save 30% on Esteban Carrera's cigars. Regular $570 to $950, now $399 to $665. So hurry into Cigar and Tabac and take advantage of this anniversary special. MLS Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets all season long. For more information or tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Weddings, holiday parties, reunions, corporate events, team parties, and school. For music for any special occasion, contact HitMix USA Mobile DJ Entertainment. For more information, visit HitMixUSA.com. Time to 
Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that compliments Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 off any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today. Uh, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. You can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit ShawneePizza.com and watch for their new location at K10 and Woodland, opening in early January. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit plus help KC students when you recycle your, le- your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness or SheKC. To read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and the Sport Clips all over KC. And SheKC is also available at over 500 locations. Now in this month's SheKC, we introduce you to KC's Ann Gaffigan, who we actually interviewed here a couple of weeks ago at Old Shawnee Pizza. She is helping open doors for female athletes, plus we write about eating disorders and the pressure that female athletes have to remain competitive. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness, and we deliver some tips from PGA pros in our current issue. And in our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback Steve McBee and tight end Devontae Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on November 17th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center for the grand opening of the Outdoor Ice Pavilion. KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Our taping will start at about 1230 that day, so come on out and join us. Uh, it's going to be an exciting day at the KC Ice Center. Uh, on December 1st, we'll be at Oliver's Pizzeria located on 135th. Uh, and the Parkway Plaza, which is located between Knoll and Row, And our taping usually starts about 1230 that day as well. And on December 15th, we will be back here at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. And our taping usually starts at about 1230 that day. Now, joining us on the show here at Old Shawnee Pizza is Reggie Harris. And Reggie is the general manager of the brand new professional indoor football team, the Kansas City Renegades, who start playing at Kemper Arena in 2013. He's been on our show recently. We were one of the lucky ones to be able to reveal the name of the new team uh, at about the time that they were revealing it. We actually, because we pre-taped, we actually had that uh, in advance. Um, Welcome back to the show, Reggie. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, it was the you heard it here first. That's right. That's right. Even though uh, by the time we got the show out there, it was already public. But uh, let's start with some other exciting news. Um, By the time this show starts playing, tickets will be on sale. Tickets will be on sale uh, on the Friday the 16th. Season tickets start sales. So by the time this comes on air, we will have already sold 1,000 seasons. All tickets. right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. You know I like uh, to we want We want to be able to help, though, with, with that, that ticket sales. Of course, we've got an ad and we've got an uh, article about the team in, in the current issue of KC Sports. But let's talk about ticket prices because uh, that's... That's one of the one of the things that's one a real plus to the Kansas City Renegades. Yeah, is it's one reasonable. One of those unique things you can get a season ticket on the front row for two hundred and ten dollars for the entire season. Oh my! So I mean that's that's the like one. Price. That's maybe not even one uh, Chiefs ticket. Well, if you count Depending beer in there, you probably yeah, yeah, yeah not, not going to yeah. get there. Yeah. So yeah, and then you start at the lower level again, where you've got that ten dollars seat that for a season ticket ends up being seventy two dollars, including the city service charge on top of that. So, oh wow! So you, that's all in seventy two dollars for that. And if you buy it now before it goes into all of the the Ticketmaster fees, which I shouldn't say that because Ticketmaster is is uh, a, a pseudo sponsor, um, but. 
you can avoid, for the fans, you can avoid some fees by buying tickets now through the Kemp Arena box office or coming to us directly. Yeah, there, well, there's always a plus to coming direct, you know, in, the, in those types of situ- situations and, and buying in advance, of course. Uh, but again, the 16th, uh, those tickets go on sale. Let's uh, mention how people can find out more information on where they go and how they get them or who they call and things like that. Fill sure. us in on that. You go to uh, our website, which is uh, kcrenegades.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have a active social networking. So our Facebook, which is facebook.com slash kcrenegades. Those announcements are daily on the Facebook page that typically drive you back to that website. Right. Um, we, we have a Twitter account. I still haven't figured out what a tweet is yet, <laughs> so uh, they tell me you that. You need to get an 18-year-old kid like I got behind <laughs> the equipment here to be able to do all exactly. that. Exactly. Sorry, Scott, I didn't mean to call you an 18-year-old kid, an 18-year-old young adult. <laughs> there you go, young adult. We got a couple of those young adults that <laughs> told us we had to have a Twitter account. Of so course. Uh, it, it is out there, and I can't even tell you what our Twitter is right now. It tells you how well, much yeah. I use it. Well, so. it'll and it'll be mentioned on your Facebook page, and it'll uh, be on your right. website and as then, well. Right, and then there'll be a phone number out there posted uh, by the time the tickets go on sale on right. the sixteenth, so you'll right. be able to see that both on Facebook and the website. Right, right. Now, uh, let's go back. Uh, team was announced uh, two months ago. Yeah, it was in September. Okay. Yep, yep, first part okay, of September. Okay, yeah, and uh, let's talk about this, the season that you have ahead of you. When, does, when do you start playing? How many games will you play? How many will be at home? We'll start playing in March. Okay. Uh, it's a 12-game season, so we got six home, six away. Then you have one round of playoffs and championship game. Okay. Um, which the other thing that will be announced by the time the show hits the air, uh, our schedule comes out on Wednesday of this week. So okay. Uh, everyone will everyone will know exactly who we play, when and where by the time those tickets go on sale on Friday. That's great. Now, the home of the Kansas City Renegades is also one of those things that was, you know, something special, something different, uh, kind of a throwback in the, in, you know, into uh, a place that, a lot of activities went on, and, and with your past history of, of doing the Kansas City Brigade in the original right. days of the Kansas City Brigade, you guys were at Kemper Arena, and you chose Kemper Arena instead of the Sprint Center to have the games there. What was the logic behind that? Well, I I love being back there, first of all. Uh, the people to work with, Oscar McGaskey from the city and um, Julie Risher that manages the building, both of those have been wonderful to work with the, to make this happen and, and be able to uh, to come together. So part of that, was their staff convinced me that it was a good move, but also being able to bring that tailgating atmosphere um, is something I thought was important. Now, since we've gone out and started talking about it, I know it's important right? because <laughs> I, I get more questions about the tailgating and the music in the venue than I get about what players we have signed. So <laughs> barbecue and, and tailgating are, are very important to this town, and being able to play at Kemper Arena where we can create that environment so we can start two, three hours before kickoff, uh, bringing that aspect to it. Not to mention our sport, the indoor sport, it's a little bit more rough and tumble and I don't need a lot of fanciness for our game. I actually prefer to have a little bit of that uh, older, somebody called it an old barn. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> I took it as a compliment, but I don't know if that's how they meant it, but right. that's kind of how you look at Kemper Arena. Yeah, and I remember going to the brigade games in the early uh, years when they played there, and the atmosphere was really electric. Um, I tell this story, we were up on the upper level, and when the players would be announced, there would be this fire that would fly up in the air, and you'd wait three seconds, four seconds, and all of a sudden you'd feel this wave of heat hit you, and that just grabbed you and pulled you into the game. Right. And then the noise level was extremely loud, which, you know, I mean, you know, acceptable loud, but, but very loud, and it was engaging as well because everybody was involved in cheering for the team, and you could hear. You could hear all sorts of things, yeah. and the sirens went off and all that kind of stuff. So that was also a factor as well, I think, for you guys was the sound aspect of Kemper yeah, Arena. Being able to recreate that, having that atmosphere of Kemper, you can put 10,000 people in Kemper Arena and it's loud. Right. I mean, the opposing team is intimidated. Right. You're right on top. It holds the noise in where it Sprint Center, and it, it's modern day design now. They, they have these multi-purpose buildings that are built more towards... Disney on Ice and concerts, which 
there's nothing wrong with that, but we're throwing a football game, and, and we need all of that sound kind of captured down on the field. Kemper is designed to do that. So right. Where other people may complain about that acoustic, I love it because it, it just gives that energy to our building. Right, and and that's just a part of the atmosphere, and it brings people together. And, of course, the tailgating, you would mentioned the last time you were on, that it creates this camaraderie among people because every week or every couple weeks they're they're showing up to tailgate with each other, and they might not know the people next to them, but they all know that they're fans. And all of a sudden you get to know these other people as well, and you know when you're stepping into the building, you're, you're all cheering for the team to win. And it's just kind of, it creates a, a more, you know, enjoyable atmosphere as well. And interesting, our fan club now, um, the yeah. posse, uh, we're in our offices just about a week ago talking to us about that whole tailgating environment. And they shared with us something that I had never really thought about, but they said on a, on a typical game day, they would serve two to 300 people coming through their tailgate. Wow. Because they're reaching out to the opposing team that's coming sure. in and inviting their fans to of be course. part of tailgate yeah. and then yeah. all of their friends and, and everybody's just walking through. Um, so when you have that type of community that starts to build, there are they may already be parked in the parking lot right now so they can <laughs> find their spot. Um, but it's that type of, of energy that we're looking to, to recreate. You can only do that if you've got the parking lot to do it. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So how many teams are in the league, um, and where are those teams? See, this is uh, the, the beauty of, of our league. It moves so quickly that here's another one that, by the time this goes on air. <laughs> we should tape this show a week later. <laughs> uh, Ten-team league. So right now, if you were to look at our league website, there are nine teams featured sure. on there. As I mentioned, our schedule comes out on Wednesday, so I already know that we definitely will have ten teams, and it will be announced probably the day before the schedule comes out okay. uh, who that tenth team is. So we range from, you know, in the north, Sioux City, Iowa, down to the south of, uh, in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. And, and so the travel is going to be close for that. That's a part of the the element of, of, you know, the league that you guys are in. And the league is called the Champions Professional Indoor Football League. Um, Correct. And so it brings together those ten teams. Uh, now, this is the top professional indoor football league in the Midwest. And I know from one of your first um, press conferences that you had, Kansas City was pointed out as being critical to this league that, you know, that's kind of the flagship location because sure. we are the biggest city that's that's out there. How does that make you feel as the well, general manager <laughs> of the most, you know, the most important team yeah. in the in the league? Well, you know, as a fan, I always um, like it when they ask the question of the general manager, the head coach, and he downplays it and just goes, well, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really mean anything. We're just From day to day, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we're just here to do our job, and uh, I, I would be lying to you if I told you that was the way I was approaching it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what every fan wants to hear. We love to have that challenge. It gives you some excitement to get up every day knowing that there are people with that microscope on you wanting to know how you're going to achieve and giving you that expectation. Now, the flip side of that is there is some great pressure that goes along with that. And you wake up some days and go, you know, we're not very good today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we can get better and we will get better. And those things are, I, I don't know if I'm ever happy with, uh, with where we're at, which is another good thing. Our head coach, I always describe him as someone that's constantly angry. And that's because he's trying to achieve greatness and we're putting that pressure right so, right uh, so yeah it's a good thing for us it does add pressure um but i would rather be in a position where people are expecting a lot out of us than for them to underestimate us well we're talking with reggie harris he's the general manager of the kansas city renegades who start playing at kemper arena in march of 2013 let's talk about some of the people that are behind uh, the Renegades, you mentioned the coach. Um, I've yep. got his name written down here, but uh, where does he come from and what's his background? Yeah, Coach Richard McCleskey. Right. Yeah, he's, right. A, um, right. he's a former arena football player, played his college ball at um, UNO, Nebraska, Omaha. Coaching-wise, he's been in a number of these leagues, mm -hmm. um, the IFL, the AFL. Excuse me, I'm about to cough here. In a minute. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give out your, yeah, we'll well, do that. KCRenegades.com. We'll, we'll give that. You'll, okay, you'll delete that out when you get through <laughs> the editing, right? Uh, yeah, Coach McCluskey, he's 
most recently was an assistant coach with the Kansas City Command. Okay. Um, and also was in Omaha with the IFL team, the Omaha Beef, uh, back then in the day. Uh, so I love that name. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. It's just you, you should really take in a game up there if uh, if there ever is a, a beef team at some point in the future, um, <laughs> where uh, the the crowds up there are great and, and the atmosphere is real good. So Coach McCleskey, they, they also had a tradition of winning, which is one right. of the big things right. um, up there. And and Coach came from that background and and should instill that with our players as well. Now we've got a story in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness on Victor Mann. Uh, he was a former K-State Wildcat, and he is your director of player personnel. Fill us in on Victor. He is Victor from K-State, uh, played football as a, a, a fullback uh, with uh, Bill Snyder. And so he's accustomed to that winning environment as well. He's also had experience at the NFL level uh, playing with the Chiefs. So he's been a player. He's been part of that high-performance college program that was a top-level program. So he brings a lot of professionalism and experience to our guys to teach these young kids how to actually uh, be a professional. Because you're always, if you don't act like a professional now, mm -hmm. you're not going to know how to do it once you get there. Mm -hmm. So he's helping with that grooming process and actually going out and picking guys that fit that mold of what we want. Now, the last time you were on the show, um, you guys had a tryout. Uh, on that particular day, that you trial. it was it was way over in Independence, and of course we were doing our show in Overland Park. You came out, you did the show, and you went back went to back. the tryout. How did that turn out? Uh, I think there was one black eye, a couple bloody. Noses oh, okay. By the time so I it was a good, it was a good one. It was a great one. It was actually, a good one. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, did you deliver those or? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no truth to the to the rumor that Coach and I are fighting already. <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, oh, you got to make some of that stuff <laughs> up, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we had a – it was a real lively tryout, and uh, some of the linemen were mixing it up pretty good. And, really? And this was a no-pad workout, and, oh, and wow. these guys were uh, mixing it up. But we did end up signing 10 guys coming out of that workout. Had some real fast 40 times that um, I didn't expect. Coach kept telling me they were out there, but uh, I didn't really believe it. Until really? I saw it on paper. Wow, wow. Um, and some of the guys that you do have signed, the, the experience that they bring is at the uh, NFL level, at the collegiate level, at the arena level. Mm -hmm. Who are some of these guys? They, they also have – there are local pe local people that played on local teams. Who are some of the guys yeah, that you have signed? Yeah, we got local guys. We got um, uh, guys like Darrell Briggs who played – with the Kansas City Command, but also he's got his championship ring from the Green Bay Packers. Right. So he got to be there and be a part of that winning experience and, and learn those type things. Um, Carson Kaufman from Kansas State University. Mm -hmm. and, um, Pig Brown, who was a third-round draft pick in the NFL out of the University of Missouri. Uh, we've got O.J. Simpson from Missouri Western. Uh, Todd DeVoe, who's actually our player development, uh, Todd was a Central Missouri guy, so or whatever they're called now. I don't right. know what they changed the name <laughs> to, but um, Todd was one of those guys. He played five years in the NFL, was with the Denver Broncos, with the Baltimore Ravens, but then he's also that local product. And he's right. told me, I don't, I'm not going to hold him to this, but he's told me if push come to shove, he's going to put the uniform back on if we need him to. Something about having to put a shot in his back for uh, for injury, <laughs> so he wouldn't feel anything. There but, we go. Yeah. Um, but, uh, that's dedication. That, that's dedication, and big part of that is he'd have to leave his front office job in order to play. Oh, really? The, uh, you can't mix he, those yeah, two things in the league. Can't do both. So um, no player coach. Huh? Yeah, he'd be making a big sacrifice to do that. Wow. But I think he's just getting that itch now that we're getting closer to the <laughs> season and, and wanting to put the uniform back uh. on. Just didn't want to come right out and say it. Okay, so tickets go on sale on the 16th, which by the time this show is out there, uh, it'll be past the 16th. People yep. can go to your website, caseyrenegades.com. There'll be a phone number where people can find them. You can get tickets as little as $72 for the season. Uh, that's a yep. great thing. You can go out and tailgate. Uh, it just sounds like the overall package, great package for families to to bring their kids out and enjoy the game and, and just have a good time. Plus, it's indoors. You know, w if, if the weather is a little bit colder, you can tailgate for a little while right. and then bring it inside. And 
Uh, warm up with the heat if you get the fireworks going inside at Kemper Arena. We will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We I'm will. ready. I'm yeah. ready for that. Uh, you know, fantastic opportunity. We're going to continue to follow the Renegades as they continue to, to do things. You've got an event that's coming up on, I think, the 19th that you said with the Boys and Girls Club. Correct. Which we're planning on writing a story on in, De- in our December issue so people can check that out and we'll have you on, you know, after that as well to talk about that. Um, you know, that... Basically, Reggie, thank you again for coming on out here. We ran out of time. We've got a zillion more things we want to talk about, but you can follow the Renegades and KC Sports and Fitness. That'll do it for our show. I want to thank our host for the show today, Will Walker, Old Shawnee Pizza, and our guest, uh, Kansas City Comet legend, Alan Mayer, and KC Renegades general manager, uh, Reggie Harris. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines. You'll find them all over Kansas City and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month, save 20% on Joint Replete, joint and soft tissue supplement with your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club, meatball grinder, or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And Oliver's Pizzeria offers a full range of pizzas with a variety of toppings, sauces, and crust styles. Visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street between Knoll and Row, or go online to oliverspizzeria.com or call 913-851-5111. Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Professional Volleyball is back with the Heart of America Havoc. The Havoc are holding tryouts for post-college women's players on December 1st. 
For more information, call Kristen at 913-233-0445. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. My snoring was keeping my wife awake at night. She told me that I stopped breathing many times during the night. When that alarm would go off in the morning, I couldn't get out of bed. Even sleeping for 9 or 10 hours would leave me feeling tired the next day. That's because I wasn't sleeping. I had sleep apnea. My doctor sent me for a sleep study at PM Sleep Lab. I feel like a new man now that I sleep through the night. Learn more at pmsleeplab.com with three Kansas City locations. Every time you turn on a TV or open a magazine, another expert offers another opinion about the stock market. There's too much conflicting advice. What you really need is personal guidance designed for your needs and goals. That's what you get from Wells Fargo Advisors. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we're with you when you need help investing wisely at a risk level you feel comfortable with. In Kansas City, call financial advisor Melanie Apodaca today at 816-968-6837. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC. Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Network, LLC.